Hi, and welcome to this Fornaf coffee break. My name is René Brummel. I'm a product specialist at Fornaf, and I will be your presenter today. As this coffee break is live, you can ask questions using the GoToWebinar question window. We will answer your questions at the end of the coffee break. Today, we are going to look at some useful Fornaf features on the Curry board and captions with their translations. To demonstrate how to do this, we'll use the sales template report from the Fornav report pack. However, you can add these features to any Fornav report from any extension using the instructions from this coffee break. To demonstrate how to add Curry report features and field captions to a report, I'm going to use these steps. The prerequisites, what do I need to get going? In step two, I will launch the Fornav designer directly from the Business Central web client and add a different page number of total format at the date and time the report is printed and the user ID of the, of the user that is printing the report. In step three, we will add standard captions. In the fourth and final step, we will add currency caption description and symbol. Let's start with the first step. Today, I will be working on a Docker environment with the Business Central 2019 full release. I have installed the Fornav extension and I have executed the step-by-step -step wizard from the assisted setup to get started. Of course, everything I will show you today will also work in the cloud-based systems. I, have, I also have the Fornav designer installed on my PC. The Fornav designer can be downloaded from the Fornav website. I can add all my layout changes straight in the Fornav report. Modifying the extension is not needed. All I need to do is to run the report from the Fornav setup and select design. This will open the Fornav designer and I can make any changes that I want. So let's go and do, do just that. I'm going to open the Fornav designer and I'm going to change the sales template. Hitting design will open the report in the Fornav designer and I can now make any changes that I want. So let's, let's have a look at what is already there. In the report, you will see things like curreport.caption that we see here and curreport.page. These are not part of the, uh, of the Business Central data set. They're not from Business Central. These are specific for now features that we have added to make your life easier. Let's preview the report and see what they look like. You will notice when I zoom in a bit that the curryport.caption translates to sales template, which is the caption of this particular report, and curryport.page translates to page one out of one. At this, in this report, I only have a single page. This will be page one out of two, three, or whatever pages we have. So let's head back to our Fornav designer and explore our data set a little bit. In the data set, we have the tables that comprise of the data set of the report, like the, the header, which is a sales header, and the line, which is a sales line of this particular report. We have related tables, like the company information and the Fornav setup, and we will get to those in uh, one of our coming coffee breaks. But we also have the Cur report, which, as I said, doesn't come from, from Business Central. This is just something Fornav uses to make our lives easier. And right here, you can see the Cur report caption. But we also have something called company name. So let's drag this into my report, make it a bit bigger, I have a long company name. We have also things like page, which displays page, page one of one. But if you just want to display the page number, you can use page number. Let's drag it into our report. And if you don't like the page uh, one slash one format, you can change it. You can simply uh, choose curry report page number and write a little bit of script and say dash and again plus and let's from curry report select page count and right now I get page one dash one for the particular report I am demoing on. We also have the time which gives me the time the report is uh, is printed on today which gives me the date 
and the user ID, which gives us the user ID. So I just drag them into my report and I hit preview. Select the report I was working on. And now we have a bit more data in our report. We now have the company name, 1-1, one -one, the time, the date, and the user ID of the user that is running this report. As I said, I'm on a Docker system, so I just get a simple admin. In the preview, you notice that I've added some fields with uh, with data, uh, but they also might uh, we might use captions, um, things like uh, totals and that sort of thing, things that we use very often on Fornav reports. So let's have another look at the report. When we look at the report right here, we see some something like co-report.standardcaptions.copy. Standard captions in Fornav are um, captions text that we use very often and that for now have very kindly uh, supplied for us and they have translated them in every language that Business Central is available in. So we get the copy which displays if a report is a if a print is a copy or not and if I scroll down a little bit I have things like co-report.standardcaptions.subtotal, tax amount and there's a couple more built into business built into for now. Let's go and have a look at our co-report data set again. Right here you can see standard captions and if I open this you will see things like continued which we use on trans headers and trans footers, copy which I talked about before and things like excluding tax, filter, page, subtotal etc. I can simply again drag these into my report and use them. So how would I use these? Previously, I have added the uh, go report page number dash page count. I would like to add the page caption to it as well. So all I do is in front of it, I'm going to go to go report standard captions and page, double click it to add it plus and add a space inside quotes. And this will let the Fournav uh, script engine just add go reports page space, page number, dash, page count. Let's preview to see what this gives me. There we go. I now get displayed page one out of one, page one dash one, instead of the page one slash one that I already have had. As you notice, there's uh, a lot of stuff in the standard captions, and there's a lot of standard features. If you have if you have any ideas of need or or need of things that are not in for nav yet, uh, just send us an email, and if it's anything we can add, we'll uh, we'll add it to the report pack. In the last step, I will add some field captions. In an earlier coffee break, we showed you that any field from any installed extension will be available in the field list of the Fornav designer. However, Fornav will also add all the field captions of these fields. Let's go and have a look. So, let's go back to my data set and right now dig into header, which is, as I said, connected to the sales invoice header in this particular report. In this report, I have something like uh, the currency field. The currency code i can drag this into my report and it will now display the currency code on my report header this is great but i also want to give it uh, a caption something like the document date if i hoover over document date you will notice that this is connected to header.fieldcaptions.documentdate and if i scroll up into my header you will notice that there are field captions and in these field captions, there's the caption of every field that is connected to, um, that is found on the sales invoice header, the header for this particular report. These are not just fields from the 
base application, every extension that is loaded into the uh, into Business Central will have its fields displayed here as well. So let's go and find currency code. So I now have the field captions, currency code, and the data from the currency code. Let's display again. And the reason I'm always using this particular report is that I know it's a dollar report which means that this particular demo works. And now I have currency code USD. So this is great. I have my uh, the fields from my header and I have all the field captions uh, from for those fields as well. I don't need to mess about getting them from the Fornav data. Still, I'd like to go a little bit deeper. If you, th if you look at the report again, you will notice that we have the payment terms and the payment terms description. And they come from something called the header.fieldlookups. So let's have a look at the field lookups. For now, when it connects to the Business Central data set, analyzes the uh, table metadata, and it will automatically recognize any table relations in the, uh, in the table metadata, which means that it can find things like uh, the uh, payment terms caption, the payment terms description, the payment method description. It gets those from the related table without you having to mess about with AL code in order to get it. So let's have a play with our currency again. I'm going to use my currency caption, which is the caption from the currency table. I'm going to use the currency description. And if you notice, I'm dropping them on an existing uh, text box which means that the source expression of this text box simply gets overwritten. So I don't need to delete the current text box and add a new one. I can just drop it on top of the existing stuff. And I'm going to add the currency symbol. And let's preview my report again. Once again, find my dollar report and preview it. And zoom in a bit. You will notice I now have the caption currency the currency description is US dollar and the symbol is the dollar sign, which we all know. So that's great. But what about translations? I've mentioned translations uh, before. So what happens if I print this for a customer with a different language? Like for instance, this one, which I know is an Icelandic customer. And that means I get a lot, lot of stuff that I can't read yet. I have uh, something here, which I'm assuming is means sales template. I have something here, which I'm assuming means, means page. And I'm sure this, if, there, if there's any Icelandic people in the audience, they will, uh, they will recognize this. And in this case, my, uh, uh, my currency is the Icelandic Krona. What you also notice is that the captions, the currency caption, but also the number, description, uh, document, date, and payment terms, they are not translated yet. This is because I'm using a W1 version of the uh, Business Central Sandbox, which simply does not have the, uh, the caption translations for Icelandic. FUNAF is going to help you out with that in the newest release, and we are going to present a coffee break about that very soon. So stay in touch and we'll uh, We'll talk to you about that later. So let's recap what we just did. In our production environment for Business Central, we have Fornav installed and activated. We use the Fornav designer that we downloaded from the Fornav website to make changes. We can use standard controls for things like page X of X, company name, etc. We can also use some standard captions that have already been translated for you. Finally, for enough, let's just use all the captions that are available on the, on the related tables and those that are available via field lookups. So thank you for listening to me so far. Mark, do we have any questions? Yes, we have questions. We have, At least we have one question. And we also have somebody from Iceland in the audience. So maybe we can actually get confirmation to see if those translations um, make any sense. Um, so let's start with the question. Um, 
I'm not actually sure if you covered it or you covered it yesterday, um, but uh, you showed how to drag in the uh, the date of today. Uh, how can you format that into a different format, like short date, long date, or something else? We can format anything in Fornaf using the uh, the Fornaf properties. If I select uh, a text box or pretty much anything in Fornaf, I get the properties of this particular text box. And if I scroll down, I get a format string. And in this format string, I can use uh, choose any date format that I would like. So I can change it to anything that uh, that is needed. Okay. I can also cool. change this dynamically. So if I have a US customer, I can dynamic dynamically change the uh, change the date format to the US date format, but we covered that in an earlier coffee break. So have a look at our, at our um, YouTube channel and you'll find what, I will, what I've been talking about. Cool. And maybe next time we should use Dutch instead of Icelandic so we can verify the results. Okay, so let's go to the next slide. Uh, no, no, let's not do that. Uh, we have another question. Are we ready for BC16? Oh, that's an easy one. I'm going to let you do that, René. Yes, we are. Yes, we are. Yeah, we actually did not have breaking changes, so um, we technically we did not have to do anything to uh, to do BC16. So yeah. So this is Michael. So actually, we did. So we have tested on 16, and the uh, new release supporting 16 is uploaded today. <laughs> Previous you would you would get a watermark saying that uh, this was not supported yet. So the the support came today. <laughs> With okay. version 5.2, you can you can download that. Um, shall we? Yeah, next slide. So if you want to know more, uh, please visit our website uh, for nav.com. If you want to download uh, what Rene was using today, if you go to our website uh, for nav.com slash download, you can download the designer. And if you go to App Source. You can download uh, the bits that you need for Business Central. If you want to see more of this stuff, uh, you can go to uh, our YouTube channel where you can watch previous coffee breaks um, and webinars that we do regularly. And if you have any questions, don't hesitate to send us an email. Um, the email address is support at fornav.com. So coming sessions, we're going to do a coffee break about adding tables to a Business Central report without writing code. And we're going to get data related uh, to tables without writing code as well. So we're going to do a lot of stuff without writing code, which is cool. Uh, we're also going to do a, a couple of recorded sessions. So those will not be uh, live presented as coffee breaks, but you can find them on the YouTube channel. So an extra reason to go to the YouTube channel and grab those uh, videos. Last slide. So if there's anything that we have not covered yet and that you don't see in the future topics, uh, don't hesitate to send us an email. Uh, info at fornav.com for this one. And if we cover your topic during one of the coffee breaks, uh, on top of the fact that you get the information that you wanted, you also get a gift card um, as a thank you uh, for, for, for doing that. So with that, thank you for attending. Thank you for Rene for, uh, for hosting this. And You're hopefully welcome. see you in another coffee break. Goodbye. Bye.